Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to use the Quick Analysis tool in Excel. First, we'll give you a brief overview. Then we'll show you how to enable or disable the tool. Next, we'll show you how to use it. And finally, we'll give a bonus tip for web or Mac users. If you've got the desktop version of Excel on your Windows device, then you'll be able to access the Quick Analysis tool. To access Quick Analysis, click and drag to select a range of data in your table. You should then see a small icon in the bottom right of the selected range. You can also right-click the selected range, then select Quick Analysis from the pop-up menu. This tool allows you to quickly preview and create various charts and totals. But if you can't see the Quick Analysis icon, head up to File, then go down to Options, or click More, then Options. In Options, stay in the General tab. Then go across and check the box next to show Quick Analysis options on selection. To use Quick Analysis, click the icon. You'll see a list of options you can use for data analysis. In Formatting, you can select data bars that work on numerical values. Or color scales, where the higher the number, the greener the background. Icon sets can be used to indicate trends or averages. In this example, the up arrows indicate high values, right arrows indicate average values, and the down arrows indicate values that are relatively low. Greater than will highlight values that are higher than the average number in the range, or higher than a threshold that you specify. If you have text selected, you'll have the option to check if a specific term exists in the text. Or, if you have only numbers selected, you'll have the option to highlight numbers that are in the top 10% of all numbers in the selected range. Finally, you can choose to clear the format. In the Charts tab, you can select clustered columns, or various bar charts based on the relationships between different columns. For example, price and category. In the Totals tab, you can add rows to your table that include sums, averages, counts, percentage totals, and running totals. To add columns to the table instead of rows, click the small right arrow, and select from the options with yellow columns highlighted in the icons. In the Tables tab, you can select different pivot tables, which are perfect for displaying data in a more meaningful way, such as comparing two columns, like category and stock, and giving a grand total at the bottom. In the Sparklines tab, you can access different data visualizations, such as lines and columns, which show trends over time. Although our table isn't set up for temporal data, the column Sparklines are showing the change between the numbers in the price column, and the numbers in the stock column. To add one of these options into your worksheet, simply click them. We'll select a bar chart that shows categories and stock levels. Bar charts will appear in a separate sheet, with data from the columns being compared. But you can choose to add or remove different columns in the fields pane on the right side of the window. When we select price, we can now view the relationship between category, stock, and price in the same bar chart. If you're using the web version of Excel, or a Mac device, then you may not be able to use the Quick Analysis tool. In that case, you can try this alternative. First, select your data, then head up to the Home tab. Now go across and click Analyze Data. This will present you with a list of data analysis options in the pane on the right side of the window. Simply scroll down, and click the Insert button to add it into your worksheet. This is an effective way of creating data visualizations, without using the Quick Analysis tool. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.